Hello, all you healthy blood pressure warriors. My name is David Fry, and I'm the founder of HealthyBloodPressure.com. There's a little known herbal tea that's been proven to unclog arteries and lower high blood pressure in scientific tests. And this tea is known as red tea because of its red color, but its real name is rooibos tea. Many people refer to rooibos tea as magical because of its magical properties to lower blood pressure. We'll look at the tea itself in a little more detail in this video, and then we'll talk about how it reduces blood pressure. So what is rooibos tea and where does it come from? Well, you probably know tea as the black and the green tea that comes from the tea plant. Well, occasionally you may get white tea from this plant as well. This popular tea plant is also known as Camellia sinensis, but rooibos tea has no connection with this plant. It's an herbal tea that comes from a completely different plant grown in South Africa. This plant is known as Aspalathus linearis. And rooibos tea means red bush in the native language. And that's why it's also referred to as bush tea or red bush tea. The plant itself is not red, but when its leaves are plucked and then fermented, they turn red. And that's why it's called the red bush tea. So what type of tea does rooibos tea produce? Well, there's two types of rooibos tea. The first type is the red rooibos tea and the second type is the green rooibos tea. The red rooibos tea is the more popular of the two. When the leaves of the plant are oxidized, they form the red rooibos. The unoxidized leaves make the green rooibos. Red rooibos has been available for centuries. Green rooibos is relatively new and is preferred for its more powerful health benefits. Rooibos tea is also graded like regular tea. High quality rooibos includes more leaves and fewer stems, and the lower grades of the tea contain more stems than leaves. You may also find rooibos tea in blended varieties. These are available for both the red and the green options. So is it possible to unclog your arteries and lower blood pressure by drinking rooibos tea. Well, your arteries carry blood from your heart to the rest of your body, but sometimes these arteries can clog. High levels of cholesterol are often responsible for the buildup of plaque, and this plaque deposits in cells in the walls of your arteries, and this is how arteries clog. Narrow arteries make your heart work harder and increase your blood pressure. So lowering bad cholesterol can help. Researchers have found that rooibos tea lowers bad cholesterol. And there's another way rooibos tea can lower blood pressure. It reduces the working of the angiotensin converting enzyme known as ACE, A-C-E. ACE is an enzyme that constricts the blood vessels and this increases blood pressure. So by lowering the ACE, rooibos lowers blood pressure. And this is also how many hypertension medicines reduce blood pressure. So how much do you have to drink to have an effect? Well, it depends on what your goal is. If you're perfectly healthy, even one cup is good enough. But now let's see how much rooibos tea can reduce bad cholesterol. A study shows that six cups a day reduce bad cholesterol. But why six cups? Well, this measurement is done considering that you use one tea bag of 2.5 grams to make one cup. One tea bag has about 1.5 milligrams of quercetin. And quercetin is a compound that's the main part of rooibos tea's antioxidants. And antioxidants are gold mines when it comes to preventing heart diseases. This is because antioxidants don't let cholesterol in the blood form plaque on the artery walls. And the amount of quercetin you get from your six cups of rooibos tea should do a good job of lowering cholesterol. How often and how long do you have to drink it to lower your blood pressure? Scientists say that you need to drink six cups of rooibos tea for six weeks diligently to reduce your bad cholesterol. It's also a sufficient amount of time to increase your good cholesterol and good cholesterol absorbs other types of cholesterol from the blood, and then it sends those to the liver. 
The liver does the job of clearing them out of your system. So this is an ongoing process. Lower levels of bad cholesterol continue to reduce plaque. Your arteries continue to widen over time. And as a result, your blood pressure should drop. So what has research said about using rooibos tea as a method to unclog arteries and lower high blood pressure? Well, scientists at the Linkoping University conducted a study in 2010. 17 people took green tea, black tea, and rooibos tea. After 30 minutes, the researchers measured the ACE enzyme of all the participants. ACE levels significantly dropped in those that drank rooibos tea. And in another study in 2011, researchers from Cape Pennsylvania University of Technology conducted a study. 40 people drank six cups of traditional rooibos tea every day for six weeks. The study measured both good and bad cholesterol. And at the end of the six weeks, the tea reduced bad cholesterol by around 0.7 units. Good cholesterol improved by around 0.3 units. Are there any side effects of drinking rooibos tea? Well, rooibos tea usually causes no side effects, but in rare cases, it may cause an increase in liver enzymes. A continued increase in liver enzymes can cause damage to your liver cells, but such a condition can occur only after consuming a large amount of rooibos tea. And there aren't enough studies to show that rooibos tea itself can cause this condition. It could also be other contaminants in the tea that raises the liver enzymes. Are there individuals that should not drink rooibos tea? Rooibos tea is safe for most people, but some people may need to be cautious about drinking large amounts. One such group of people are women who are sensitive to hormonal changes. And this is because rooibos tea contains phytoestrogens and phytoestrogens are compounds that are found in plants that are similar to estrogen. Estrogen is a female sex hormone. Having unbalanced estrogen can cause many chronic and serious conditions. And some people, such as those with breast cancer, should avoid phytoestrogens. And to be safe, they shouldn't take rooibos tea. Another group of people that should avoid rooibos tea are those going through chemotherapy. The body processes many different chemicals during chemotherapy. Adding any kinds of herbs might disrupt the processing of those chemicals. Such people could check with their doctors to see if it's okay to drink small amounts of rooibos. So in summary, rooibos is an excellent herbal tea that comes from South Africa. This tea has an amazing red color and no caffeine. Its medicinal properties are now beginning to show through research. It's seen to reduce bad cholesterol and unclog arteries. It also stops ACE from narrowing the blood vessels. And by doing so, it reduces blood pressure. As a rule, six cups of rooibos tea a day should work well to keep your blood pressure in check. But always talk to your doctor before discontinuing your blood pressure meds. Also, for some people, it might not be the right tea to drink. So consult your doctor to avoid any of the rare side effects of rooibos tea. And for perfectly healthy people, rooibos tea is a great alternative to black tea. It has zero calories and a smooth, pleasant, earthy flavor that just tastes great. So let me know below in the comments if you drink rooibos tea and if it's lowered your blood pressure. Hi there, if you suffer from high blood pressure like I do, and you wanna receive my educational videos about how to lower your blood pressure, I'd like to ask you to do three simple things right now. Number one, click the subscribe button right there. And then number two, click on the bell icon right down there so that I can notify you the moment I release a new video. And number three, watch another one of my more popular healthy blood pressure videos right over there. Okay, thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.